Hi guys, it's Ola and I'm really excited to show you a bunch of new features we just released for helping you deal with skin tones, manage them better and make the menu a little more functional. So the first thing I'm going to show you is we have the body and normally you have the body and if you're going to have the body on more than one item, like for example a body, but also a head that's floating on another layer or a hand that uh, whose position you can change um, and you have those linked, you usually used to have to have all your skin tones in a folder and that was a color picker. But now you can take the main body folder that you want to be the menu, you can take it out and just keep it in the main folder, you don't have to nest it in a color picker, and you keep uh, the hex codes, but what's new is afterwards you type space, square brackets, color, because it's not in a regular color picker folder, we're just letting the program know that this is a special case, and these are all colors, and what this is going to do is now instead of having to click in the menu and then click on the body that's somewhere there and then the little brush coming up with the color picker the skin tones are going to show up right in the menu in themselves so it saves the user one level of clicking which is actually really nice okay number two is notice i have this tag up here because th these are the bodies and i don't have underwear on them so i don't actually want these showing up in the menu and this is a huge issue that uh, is very common for people so I used to have my uh, skin tone button hack but now here's a more direct way it's sort of a similar idea except um, you don't have to use a ref and mirror anymore so we have this folder we have our color set and then here we have square brackets use use dash icon i c o n colon skins so that's how what I named it skins and then up here at the top there's a folder called body icons and it has the same tag icon set well it's slightly different icon set skins versus use icon skins and again skins is just the tag I'm using to link the two you can put any anything in that as long as it matches and in here I have the buttons that I actually want to show up in the menu for the skin. So this part is optional. You could just um, use color. If your skin tones have underwear, you can just use those. But if not, you want to make custom buttons, you can do it this way. And it doesn't have to be for skin, of course. You can apply this to anything where you want to make custom buttons in another folder. And it's linking them, I believe, by hex code. But it can, I think, do it by layer order as well. Okay, so those are the icons. The next thing is, so for example, here uh, the body is says enable color global col colon skin. And we link this in this doll to the ears. The ears we say ears optional enable color global skin so that their colors change together. But when the user is choosing an ear we don't want them thinking about the skin tone we want it to automatically link to the skin tone but this is the time to focus on the ear shape and so what we have now that's new is color picker colon hidden h-i-d-d-e-n and this will hide the color picker so you can choose and play around with the ear shapes and they'll automatically match the color of the body but you, the color picker won't pop up here and confuse you or, or the player thinking that you're changing the ear color when actually you would be changing the whole body color and that kind of is not where you expect to be doing that. So you can hide it. Okay. And what's really cool is I got this to work mix and matching. So for example, this is the claws folder and I put the enable color global skin on here too to link this color as well. And so this tiger claw folder um, or werewolf, whatever, whatever you have it, has a matching layer for each skin tone with the right hex code and it's a color picker and so this will change as her body changes the claws will change with it and match and the, but the color picker is hidden so when you click on it you don't the player isn't distracted by um, the little color picker on the side they just toggle it on and off however the other two folders 
are not hidden. They don't have hidden color pickers, just as color picker, not hidden. And the hex codes in here don't match this set. There's no overlapping hex codes. And so the program will ignore these. So the player can come in, toggle their claws, which will automatically match. Or if they pick one of these options, it'll show up, the color picker will show up and they will be able to choose these custom options, which is really kind of a neat and powerful tool. So yeah, this is the Space Princess. Just search for that in Maker if you want to see this in action. And feel free to email me at support at maker.io if you have any questions. Thank you.